The United States spends more money on education than any other country in the world, and yet we get the worst outcomes. We're at the bottom of every list. In total, American society pours more than a trillion dollars a year into public education systems. But instead of being at the top of the list, we are literally right smack, guess what, at the bottom. Rather than indoctrinating young people with inappropriate racial, sexual, and political material, which is what we're doing now, our schools must be totally refocused to prepare our children to succeed in the world of work and in life and the world of keeping our country strong so they can grow up to be happy, prosperous, and independent citizens. We owe our children great schools that lead to great jobs and leads to an even greater country that we're living in right now. Right now, we're living in a failing nation because of Joe Biden and these people running it. They're Marxists. They're communists. What they're doing to our country is incredible, but we'll take care of that for our children. Here are 10 key ideas that will power our movement for great schools. First, we will respect the right of parents to control the education of their children. Second, we will empower parents and local school board to hire and reward great principals and teachers, and also to fire the poor ones, the one whose performance is unsatisfactory. They will be fired. Like on The Apprentice, you're fired. Third, we will ensure our classrooms are focused not on political indoctrination, but on teaching the knowledge and skills needed to succeed. Reading, writing, math, science, arithmetic, and other truly useful subjects. Fourth, we will teach students to love their country, not to hate their country like they're taught right now. Fifth, we will support bringing back prayer to our schools. Sixth, we will achieve schools that are safe, secure, and drug-free, with immediate expulsion for any student who harms a teacher or another student. Seventh, we will give all parents the right to choose another school for their children if they want. It's called school choice. Eighth, we will ensure students have access to project-based learning experiences inside the classroom to help train them for meaningful work outside the classroom. Ninth, we will strive to give all students access to internships and work experiences that can set them on a path to their first job. They're going to be very, very successful. I want them to be more successful than Trump. Let them go out and be more successful. I will be the happiest person in the world. But we want our children to have a great life and be successful. And tenth, we will ensure that all schools provide excellent jobs and career counseling so that high school and college students can get a head start on jobs and careers best suited to their God-given talents. This is how we will ensure a great education for every American child. And one other thing I'll be doing very early in the administration is closing up the Department of Education in Washington, D.C., and sending all education and education work and needs back to the states. We want them to run the education of our children because they'll do a much better job of it. You can't do worse. We spend more money per pupil by three times than any other nation, and yet we're absolutely at the bottom. We're one of the worst. So you can't do worse. We're going to end education coming out of Washington, D.C. We're going to close it up, all those buildings all over the place, and you have people that, in many cases, hate our children. We're going to send it all back to the States. Thank you very much.